Electric cars are becoming very common these days. In fact, now almost every big car brand is offering some sort of fully electric or hybrid electric vehicle. But not all electric cars are created equal. Some, like Tesla and Rivian, get a lot of attention, while others are quietly working on excellent electric cars worth buying. Let's look at the best upcoming electric vehicles that are probably not on your radar at all. Hyundai Ioniq 6 Hyundai intends to compete with Tesla's Model 3 with the Ioniq 6, which will be the company's next electric vehicle. This four-door sedan will most likely share components to the taller and boxier Ioniq 5, which is part of the company's Ioniq sub-brand. Single and dual motor variants will be offered, with a range of up to 300 miles projected from a variety of battery pack configurations, according to the manufacturer. The Ioniq 6, which appears to have been inspired by Hyundai's dramatic prophecy concept car, appears to feature a sportier and more opulent interior, as well as more sophisticated technology, than Hyundai's gas-powered Sonata and Elantra sedans. Most likely, the Ioniq 6 will be powered by the same battery that powers the Ioniq 5, which is rated to drive 303 miles on a single charge by the Environmental Protection Agency (EPA). However, this model is likely to be slightly more expensive than the Ioniq 5, which has a starting price of $41,925. VinFast VF8 when the VF8 was still in development in 2021, the electric SUV made its public debut at the Los Angeles Auto Show under the name of the VFE35. This Vietnamese electric SUV, previously known as the VFE35, has been rebranded and is scheduled to arrive in the United States in December of 2023. It is the less costly of two new all-electric SUVs going to the United States, both of which are funded by Vingroup, Vietnam's largest corporation. As the firm had released, the two-row VF8 will be powered by a dual-motor setup with a combined output of 400-plus horsepower, one on each axle. And if this is the case, the VF8 will have a substantial edge over rival electric vehicles in its price range, according to the company. VinFast promises that it will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds. And regarding the vehicle's range, VinFast says the twin-motor VF8 can drive 317 miles on a single charge, albeit this is only according to European standards, not American ones. According to current estimates, the VinFast VF8 will have a starting price of around $41,000 in 2023 when it goes on sale. Lightyear 1 Lightyear One is a long-range solar electric vehicle designed to be completely self-sufficient and capable of traveling anywhere. Because no other electric vehicle on the market can match Lightyear One's 83 watt-hour per kilometer energy usage, which is the result of the vehicle's unique vehicle architecture and innovative technology, the vehicle has been built to be as energy efficient as possible. With the lowest emissions and lowest charging frequency and clean solar range per year, this results in a great range of 460 miles. For this degree of power generation, SunPower interdigitated back contact photovoltaic cells are placed on Endurance solar conductive backplates, which are made of conductive aluminum. It is as a result of this that Lightyear's hood and roof are all black with no silver conductors framing recognizable areas of solar collectors. Additionally, it enhances the solar area, minimizes cell to module power losses, and increases power generation by 3%, all of which benefit the vehicle's overall appearance. Despite the fact that it is a free charge car, the expected beginning price of $175,000 implies that it is not exactly inexpensive. Xping's G9 China's Xping Motors has recently introduced a new flagship SUV and an ultra-high capacity charger to go with it, both of which are designed to accommodate electric vehicles. The sleek G9 crossover was introduced at China's Auto Guangzhou exhibition, marking the debut of the automaker's first vehicle to be designed from the bottom up with global regulatory compliance in mind. Aside from that, little information has been released regarding the vehicle's dynamic qualities, such as its acceleration or range. 
While this is the fledgling automaker's fourth model, its XEEA 3.0 electrical architecture, which the company says is China's first 800 volt high voltage mass production SICK platform, has only been incorporated into the G9, which is a first for the company. According to the company, the G9's new 480 kilowatt supercharging piles charging stations can provide up to 124 miles of range to the vehicle in as little as 5 minutes. Even while the Xping G9's pricing and delivery date are still unknown, the rumor is that it will cost between $47,000 and $62,000 depending on the battery capacity and trim levels. Genesis Essentia Hyundai's premium division, Genesis, stated in 2018 that they were working on a concept car ahead of the International Auto Show. The outcome was Essentia. The amazement and atmosphere around the concept car, which was publicly presented the same year, fueled rumors that the corporation might seek a limited number production. Luke Donkerwalk, the head of Genesis Design and a former Volkswagen designer, developed the Essentia concept car, which is an all-electric concept vehicle. Everything about the car was designed to bring the owner closer to the realm of luxury and the elegance of the automobile. Many details remain a mystery due to the fact that it's a concept automobile. Only the high-density batteries and the many electric motors have been mentioned thus far, although Genesis promises a theoretical 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3 seconds. Speculation about the base pricing is likewise absent, although we won't be surprised if it goes for a price way above the six-figure valuation when it goes on sale. VinFast VF9 Vietnam's VinFast VF9 is a battery electric SUV with three rows of seats offering adequate seating for six to seven people. When it was first revealed in teaser form, it was referred to as the VF E36. It is one of two vehicles from the brand to be made available in North America, the other being the smaller VF8. Additionally, the VF9 is more than a foot longer than its two-row VinFast VF8 stablemate, allowing for a bigger battery pack to be installed, resulting in increased operating range. VinFast forecasts that the VF9 will have a range of 423 miles on a single charge, whereas the VF8's range is 317 miles. When it comes to performance, the VF9 is similar to the VF8 in that it has a dual motor configuration, one on each axle, and a system output of 402 horsepower. Because of its larger size, the VF9 has a slower peak speed. VinFast predicts that it will reach 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, one second slower than the previous model. The VF9 three row will be available for a starting price of around $65,000. Chrysler Airflow. Although a few details have been confirmed, several indicators led to Chrysler launching a new electric car dubbed the Airflow. In addition to being a well-designed compact crossover, it is likely to ride on a new electric vehicle platform from Chrysler's parent company, Stellantis, known as the STLA Medium. The Airflow's potential driving range, based on the company's revolutionary battery technology, has been estimated to be as long as 440 miles in the preliminary testing phase. In fact, a 2025 version of the Airflow might hit the market as early as 2024, competing against vehicles such as the Ford Mustang Mach-E, the Tesla Model Y, and the Volvo XC40 Recharge, among others. It is not yet revealed what trim levels or combinations will be available on the Airflow, but we anticipate it will be available in single motor and dual motor configurations. According to the current estimates, the entry-level model will cost around $50,000. Canoe Electric Pickup Truck Although specific release dates are not given, the Canoe Electric Pickup Truck will be available in 2023. As the new standard in utility, shape, and function, the pickup truck is ready for work and play. All-wheel drive, AWD, and rear-wheel drive, RWD versions of the 2023 Canoe Pickup Truck will be offered with twin and rear electric motor options. There are two options for output on the canoe pickup truck. The dual motor arrangement produces up to 600 horses per ton and 550 pound-feet of torque, while the rear wheel configuration produces 300 horses and 332 pound-feet of torque. However, the canoe pickup truck's driving range is significantly lower than comparable electric pickup trucks. 
An estimated 200 miles of driving range is possible with the 80 kilowatt hour battery pack. Canoe has not yet revealed the Canoe pickup truck's towing capability, but we estimate that the AWD variant can transport up to 1,800 pounds in payload capacity. Canoe hasn't given the official pricing details, but we estimate retail pickup prices will be in the $35,000 to $50,000 range. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these videos shown on your screen right now.